non-breathable atmosphere. It appears things have gone downhill since the last time you were here. Argos has clearly well, washed its hands of this operation. Oh no, don't start. I've had enough Barrett for one lifetime. I don't need the sequel showing up on my doorstep. More pirates showed up when you were gone. We weren't as lucky this time. Calvert, Troy, some of the new Dusties, they didn't make it. Who knows with pirates? Revenge, peeking at the scraps. Maybe they're from a different crew and we just got hit twice by sheer bad luck. Well, how could you have? You weren't here. Anyway, I was pinned down behind some crates with Barrett. Bullets and laser fire everywhere. No smile on that damn carefree face of his. Like he knew this was it. I started stealing myself to go out fighting. Then that idiot puts his hand on my shoulder and says, Stay here, Lin. I got you. Not quite. Barrett is more dangerous than you might think. Next thing I know, two of the pirates are dead, and he's got the third one in a headlock. Drags him out into the open at gunpoint and demands to talk, or else I'm going to demonstrate Newton's third law on this guy's temporal lobe. And that's when they brought out Hella. <sighs> I didn't overhear everything, but after the ten longest seconds of my life, Barrett put his hands up, and both of them ended up getting taken aboard the pirate ship. And that's the last I saw of either of them. Too risky to put that in the message. Too much liability. You know how it is. Our clients need to know when the operations start and stop. We handle the rest. They could have grav jumped anywhere. I tried pinging a transmission to the ship in the comms building before they left, but the pirates must have fried it. You want to try it? Go ahead. But the odds of them being alive, even if you could find them. <sighs> I've lost a lot of people on this run, Dusty. I just want to pack up.
hoping there was a good reason that was locked. actually get that computer working again? What? Let me see that. <laughs> Funny. Even knowing he's alive, I still never want to see him again. Hella, on the other hand. Okay. Let me send you the location data embedded in the transmission. Find them, okay? Well, don't start buying me stuffed animals for my birthday or anything. But yes, all right. I don't like seeing my people hurt. Even Barrett and Hella. Just get after them, okay? And hey, if you ever need a little extra help, I've been thinking about a career change lately. Maybe it's time to put Argos behind me. Seems like you've been keeping busy, Dusty. If, uh, you find yourself in need of a capable traveling companion, we should talk. My contract's up with Argos, and I could use a change of scenery. Works for me. I'm not fussy about assignments. I'll go where I need it. Right. I'll get to work. Let's catch up later. Got 
contact Charlie 3. And he nice to meet you. Bye, Charlie 3. Hi. Just doing my daily pain and forward. Avoid the Altair system. Back big time. Watch your flaring. you. And here I thought you were some pirate coming back to kill me. Lucky me, right? Considering the spaceship wreckage, you mean? Yeah. Well, you missed the worst of it. Pretty sure we ripped through all the emergency meds that were salvageable. Hey, uh, you know, when I uh, pulled you to the med bench back on Vectera, I honestly thought... Shit, I think I just saved someone's life. Oddly proud moment, you know? Uh, so, uh, I guess I'm saying, glad I paid it forward. Indeed. Without your help, we wouldn't have ever gotten this worthwhile addition to Constellation. Man, I was so terrified when I got pulled on board that pirate ship. There it was all. Sorry, brother. I'll get us out of this. Trust me. Yeah, I'm starting to see that. He tells me we need to start pretending to fight each other. <laughs> Trick the pirates into thinking they need to come in before one of us gets killed. I just remember him shouting, this kid is a killer. How am I supposed to defend myself against these pearly whites? He's gonna bite my face off. I mean, I didn't think it would work, but they came in. All of a sudden, we were wrestling with two of them. 
Barrett reached for one of their guns. Bingo. Blasted the pilot right in the back. <laughs> Through to the flight console. And dropped orbit like a rock off a high rise. <laughs> I blacked out. And when I came to, there he was, smiling like it was just another day on the job. You miss the fun part, Heller. I mean, I go through all the trouble of saving your butt, and you weren't even awake to notice. Then he did the little finger gun thing. Well, no, I don't think so. I caught him holding his ribs a few times. <laughs> Favorite his left leg a bit, you know? Oh, yeah. Probably should have talked about that first. <laughs> Did I mention I'm on a lot of painkillers? So, I was real excited when a ship showed up. <laughs> then, less excited when I realized it was a Crimson Fleet ship. And then, really, really less excited when Barrett said, It's okay, I got this. He mumbled something to him, and then they were all gone. I was drifting in and out. But, uh, I think I heard the word ransom. I was drifting in and out, but, yeah, I think so. Got a signal from the ship before they grab jumped. Guessing it was Barrett. <laughs> Haven't really been in a good <clears throat> space to have a listen. <laughs> Here you go. Hey. Uh, uh, I should come with you, right? I don't think anyone else is coming. Yeah, just, uh, don't ask me to operate any heavy machinery for a while. Uh, give me a minute. I think the worst of it is... Yeah, I'll be all right. I'll be all right. Ready to wisecrack with the best of them. Let me know when you want to head out. Still think there might be a spot for me on your ship? I gotta get off this rock. Phew, oh, I'm glad to hear you say that. For a second there, I thought you were gonna leave me behind. What's on the agenda today? Got it. Catch you on the flip side, boss. Thanks for letting me tag along. being attacked causing trouble isn't that just fighting back hey pilot could you move your arm a little bit to the left i can't make out the console don't move he's trying to figure out our destination probably transmitting this conversation right now while we're still in orbit well yeah thought i was making that pretty obvious okay okay put the gun down i'm done see my retinas are pointing away from the console and to 
towards this lovely view of space we have out the window. Tie him up. Once we get back to the base, the fun starts.
no certainty to the universe at all. Once you really start getting out there, the laws of physics kind of turn into suggestions. You're pulling my leg again, right? No exaggerations this time. Hmm. Unicorn. Not yet. Wait. Holy shit. You actually found me. I wish I could say this is the first time this has happened with Barrett. But, well, it isn't. Well, this is turning into a regular Constellation party, isn't it? I should have bought drinks. You know, it's actually been kind of nice. Matsura the Grim here is a great host. No sense letting people's last moments be unpleasant. See, that's what I like about you, Matsura. Real renaissance man. I have enjoyed our time together, Barrett. But I can't just let you go with nothing to show for it. Is Constellation willing to pay ransom in exchange for this man's freedom? We do have some insurance set aside for this exact problem. Does that mean you'll be paying me, miss? We don't need to be introduced. Here's your money. And we would appreciate it if you could spread the word in the Crimson Fleet that Barrett shouldn't be harassed. It's not working out for any of us. That's a fair point. But I can't control a man's reputation. Do what you can. A suggestion to the right ears can work wonders. Hmm. Very well. Goodbye to you all. I have enjoyed this little exchange. See you around, Metzer. Uh, I mean, well, you know, hopefully not. Let me know if we're going to head into the well, so I can watch your back. Look at this place. It's just as we left it. You know, I've often wondered who keeps the lodge so meticulously clean. Well, some of us were. I see what you did there, Walter. And I know you've been secretly crying into your piles of money just waiting for my return. Actually, Walter has been complaining about you more than usual, which is always a sign when he's worried. Don't start, Katri. Wait, is that? <laughs> and to think the first artifact was taking up dust on the library shelf. Now, look at them all. You feel it a bit, can't you? Ever since I found the second one, I had the visions. Being around them is just comforting. So hey, I I'm still not a hundred percent, plus I feel guilty dragging you into all of this. Why don't I stick around, help you get adjusted to the weird corners of the universe? Marvelous. Hmm? 